What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? No, it's been a little while since I did a video, so I figured I would pop in and do a video. So I'm sitting here at the uh, Jackson Terminal in uh, Mississippi, waiting for the truck to go into the shop. So, yeah. Gonna start doing something uh, different, something new. I guess um, more experience in uh, you know the trucking industry. I'm gonna start uh, hauling doubles, double trailers. We have a, a contract with FedEx hauling uh, their doubles. The holiday season's coming up, so they need to have um, some extra drivers to uh, move trailers for them. So I'm here uh, now waiting for uh, the shop to take the truck in. What they have to do is they have to reinforce the back end. They have to add a panel hook, take off um, the mud flaps that I have and put some uh, spring loaded mud flaps on them and uh, kind of retrofit my truck to be able to uh, haul FedEx double trailers or double trailers in general. So when I was home last, uh, a couple weeks ago, I went ahead, went down to the DMV and uh, took the doubles and triples endorsement, got that added on my license. One more thing uh, that's good to have, it gives you uh, more availability, more options as far as loads go and uh, experience doing other things. So that's what uh, I'm gonna do. They're gonna retrofit my truck tonight. I have a load that picks up about 80 miles away from here at uh, pickups at seven. So I'll probably leave here at 5.30 or six in the morning, go down there, pick that up, and then uh, take it down to Houston. And, and once I am in Houston, that's where they're gonna do uh, the uh, FedEx training. So I'll head down to Houston, I'll be with the trainer for, they said it's real quick and easy, so a day, maybe two days tops, and uh, go down there and do that from then until uh, Christmas Day. So the um, they're looking for extra people to start in November and then go through the uh, and go through Christmas Day moving uh, double uh, trailers. But since I'm going all the way down there and it being, I think today is like the 15th, 14th, 15th, whatever day it is, it's gonna be really close to the beginning of the month. So the miles will just keep me down there. I don't foresee them telling me to uh, come back in two weeks. I mean, they might. Uh, they might give me some loads that are around the area, uh, maybe Louisiana um, or some in-state Texas runs. We have a terminal in Irving, uh, Texas. So, you know, I, I don't know for sure. I'll find out more, uh, more detail as far as that goes. But to me, it just doesn't make much sense to send me away when I'm already there. I got the training, my truck is retrofitted. Why not just start doing it? The um, contract pays $280 a day. You're basically doing one round trip. So it starts in Houston, Cypress area, and then goes over to uh, Shirts, and then one other location in Texas. And then you, uh, you, take two, you, you pick up two trailers in Houston, you take it to the destination, you drop off those trailers, then you pick up two more, and then you take it back to Houston. So basically it's just one round trip a day. Because the traffic down there is so bad and so busy, they have us run at night. So we'll be night driving. It'll be starting at probably eight or 9 p.m. and then getting off about five or six o'clock in the morning. So it'll be a nighttime driving and then I'll have to just get used to sleeping during the day, which I don't really like night driving, but you have to do it for this. The money um, isn't too bad. Like I said, it's 280 a day. Monday through Friday. I think uh, you can run on Saturdays if you want to. Um, it's your choice. The only downside that I can, well, the only one that I can see so far is that there isn't a lot of truck stops in the area, if I recall right. So you're basically sleeping overnight on the FedEx facility property. Now, I have to, I've been told that they do have some nice showers there, but as far as food to eat, there, the facility is kind of out there. So it may be kind of difficult to get food. There's no laundry places. I'm gonna have to figure out where to do laundry at while I'm down there. 
and uh, like I said, there's no truck stops. You're actually sleeping on their property. Um, the one good news is, is that with having the weekends off, it's only about a two and a half, three hour drive to get to my parents' house uh, over there in Austin. So what I can do actually is just work Monday through Friday when I finish off my shift, just drive down to my parents' house, do laundry there, um, hang out, sleep in my own bed. So it may not be uh, that bad of a deal, actually. A buddy of mine uh, went down there and did the training. He was only down there for a day. He just said that, you know, it just kind of sucks. There wasn't a lot of food options there and you're sleeping on, on the property. So I guess I'll just have to see it for myself uh, when I get down there. I do uh, have some friends that live in the Shirts area too. So that might not be that bad of a deal. You pick up two trailers, you drop two trailers off, and then when you're done, then you can bobtail. So I can drive the truck around and uh, go do what I need to do. I'm sure I can find some place to eat um, or go hang out with some friends on my off time. So it may not that be that bad of a deal. Um, like I said, the money is really good. It's Monday through Friday. It is going to be down south with uh, it getting colder now. You know, we're getting ready to start into November. So November and most of December. I won't have to worry about driving up north, dealing with a lot of snow and ice and uh, crappy conditions. So that is a plus by doing this dedicated route. And again, it's you know some more experience for me. They're telling me that it takes about two or three hours to put this kit on my truck. Kind of would like to relax and chill and get a decent night's sleep. It's about 6 p.m. right now. So, and there's a truck in front of me. So they may not get my truck into like 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. And then I have to start driving at like five o'clock. Huh, I might be tired tomorrow. Really the only option that I had, the other, the other option was, was the shop um, opens up at 7 a.m. And, and I've got that load. If I tell them to take me off of the load, then who knows when I would be able to get another load going to Texas here in the next uh, couple of weeks to get this training done so that I'm ready to start doing the dedicated route at the beginning of November. So I really didn't have any option was to sit here and have them do it tonight. I guess the shop closes at about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. So they were gonna try to squeeze me in and get it done tonight. I do have to say though that the uh, the nighttime lady in the maintenance shop isn't the most friendliest person. Just FYI, just FYI, a little grouchy, a little cranky. I guess I can show you where I'm sitting. So they have the one shop that's right there. Got a very old, old, old total truck right there. US Express and then there's the other shop uh, we don't really have um, big facilities like US Express does unfortunately kind of wish that we did um, but uh, we don't so we're kind of stuck with what they give us so that's what takes a little bit longer to get things done I generally try not to check my truck into the shop unless I absolutely have to because of the amount of time that it takes and the availability of uh, docks or uh, bays to get uh, trucks worked on and done is uh, pretty small. So yeah, I'm sitting here waiting. I wanted to get a hotel room, but the only way they give you a voucher for a hotel room is if you're going to, if they're going to have your truck overnight. But. Um, since we do the orientation here, we do have a hotel down the road that the uh, guys sleep in during orientation and they give us a discount. So I'm actually kind of contemplating calling them up and finding out how much your room is for the night. And then just staying there and then catching uh, the shuttle that brings the orientation kids back in the morning. Uh, just catch it back over here. I may do that after I finish this video. I'll give them a call and find out what the uh, what our rate is for the hotel. 
my earlier videos, you guys saw the hotel because um, I was doing my videos in the hotel for orientation. So, anyways, that's what's been going on with me lately. Um, been kind of busy, just had some personal stuff going on, just uh, really wasn't in the uh, best of moves to do videos. Um, but I figured that uh, I'd pop in and let you guys know about the, the, new, uh, the new avenue that I was gonna take and what I was gonna do uh, running these uh, FedEx double trailers. So, And I'll do, I'll do videos when I get down there. I'll try to do a little bit of the training and uh, let you guys know uh, more about it in case you're interested in doing it um, or hauling doubles in, in general. Um, it's going to be something new to me, so I might as well share my knowledge to you, know, you guys. So. I have a lot of videos. Um, I try to do videos on things that have happened in my driving career uh, over the road. A lot of my earlier videos were really uh, kind of boring and dry. I talked about orientation, talked about stuff like that. but. Um, if you guys haven't checked them out, I uh, encourage you to go back through, look at some of my older videos. And if you haven't done so yet, um, hit the like button and uh, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to give them a call, find out what a hotel is going to run me, and figure out what's going on. And uh, I'll do a video of the truck, what they changed uh, after it gets done, uh, probably tomorrow. So, yeah. Hi right, guys, well, thanks a lot for checking out my videos. Everybody be safe out there. Look out for yourself and one another. And until next video, Chuck or Jay is out.